assalamu alaikum and welcome back on mass media master today we are going to discuss about the educational television objective of today's discussion are give introduction and evaluation elaborate role and impact of educational television describe kinds of educational programs explain different approaches to use television for education and elaborate AIOU experience. So these are the key points for today's discussion. Firstly, we are going to go to introduction and evaluations. Evolution of the television has been given considerable importance in many countries as a source and a tool of teaching. The success stories of using television for education in many countries has negated the concept that television is basically an entertainment oriented medium and it is hostile to thoughts. Television is adoptable and can follow different approaches when used in different educational situations. The medium is used for formal, non-formal and informal education. To support formal education, Television usually function as supportive and reinforcement tool. Television can be attached with school curriculum and timetables. When systematically organized is take the form of school broadcast. Paper schedules of television transmission with details of broadcast notes are prepared jointly by television and education authorities. The teachers are well aware of contents of programs. In this picture, we see clearly about the evolution of television, past, present and future. In 1967, the introduction of Color TV. In 1977, last TV studio switches to color broadcast and same technique as black and white TV but then with the three X colors red, green and blue. In this picture you can easily differentiate these colors. Same technique as black and white TV but with three X colors like red, green and blue. All possible colors can be mixed. White, all three colors together. Black, absence of all these colors. So, evolution of television in this stages. First, second, third, fourth, fifth, and now smart television. Under the concept of school broadcast, programs are viewed in classrooms under the guidance of teachers. Activities before and after watching the programs may be conducted. In non-formal education, television has a more specific role to play when used as a part of multimedia communication tool. Television can directly or indirectly teach the subject matter. In distance learning, television may perform various innovative roles such as classroom substitution and regularity in studies. While listening the use of television in the broader terms of information and education, you should try to understand the difference in the educational and educative roots of television. In strict sense, the term education television and institutional television refer to the use of television in the teaching and learning of any curriculum based content. Success of the education television is more apparent where people accept it as an authentic source of information such as book. So importance of television to communicate information, ideas, skills and attitude have been affirmed by researchers. 
you should attempt to study various reports published on education television in different countries in different situation television was introduced in pakistan in 1964 in the name of education but ironically education renamed remained as a lesson priority among the overall programs activities as ptv later etv was established as a separate section within ptv the important educational activities of etv includes literacy com- campaign nadin various school curriculum related series and general educational programs Since 1974 PTV has been cooperating in making and transmitting AIOU course based programs from 1984 AIO has been producing its television programs in its own studio which go on air through PTV transmitters PTV national telecast AIOU educational programs and is catering the learning needs of society including students farmers and skilled and semi skilled person personnel on the american sense educational television appeared in 1953 in the next 7 years 50 channels were operating in us national educational television net net and it provide thousands of recorded programs to the institutional television centers japan has making extensive use of television for educational purposes schools and educational institutions are automatically equipped with receivers to facilitate the group viewing japan has launched a broadcast satellite to improve transmission and it reaches to all hilly and remote areas of country In UK all the television channels devote certain times for education programs of UK open university are jointly prepared by university and the BBC these are transmitted through the BBC2 all important channels like BBC and the independent television have educational television set up within their organization school broadcast are a regular feature on BBC and ATV In India experimental education television started for higher school in 1960s from 1975 Delhi Doordarshan expanded the educational television transmission later on a network was established to cater the education's need of schools and out of school public India has been using satellite INSAT1 for education since 1982 this has also made the national hookups possible you can find more videos on mass media master about 1920s and 2020 role and impact of educational television if media is to work as an effective teaching tool then certainty it is helping hands to one's achieving the aims and objective of education media is an agent to boost culture economic and social development activity television as an important mass medium disseminate education through formal and informal methods formal education television methods in simple terms means a direct source to teach the syllabus based lesson In its informal role, television reinforces what formal education is already offering. Television also continues to bet- benefit the masses by making them the conscious of their environment, environment right, duty, and privilege. It is a source of teaching, articulates language, skills, hobbies, social relations, and re- religious beliefs. Role of television is neither fixed or easily tangible and measurable. The role of directly related to the question of how for the planners 
are serious and determined to use television. The role could either be enormous or on the contrary, very meager. Depending upon the specific task and available resources, generally television can help to choose the following objectives. First, social equality in education. Second, enhance equality in education. Third, reduce dependency on verbal teaching and teachers. Fourth, provide flexibility of time and space in learning. Fifth, stimulates learning. And sixth one is provide mass education opportunities. As for the impact of educational television, it should rather be studied in more narrow and specific areas. In the words of Sham, TV is more effective in teaching mathematics, science and social studies. Whereas history, humanities and literature have not benefited from this medium the same degree. The impact of television on macro level should be studied in three areas normally. Teachers competencies, student competencies, effect on general viewers. Kinds of educational programs. In the broader sense, the educational television programs follow more or less the same variety of formats which are already published in the making of general television programs. The difference lies in the treatment of subject, its explanation, their repetitions and summaries at the end to make the thing understand. Educational programs are more direct, sober and economically designed. Following kinds of format are frequently used in educational television, illustrated lectures, magazine formats and drama. If you want more videos, please comment after this video. And if you are new on this channel, please subscribe and like the video. Different approaches to use television for education. Television is only medium for information. It can achieve various educational objectives and cater the needs of different learning environments. For example, among various uses, Television can serve in four-wall classroom situation, as well as help the individual learners at home under distance learning schemes. It can be used for direct teaching without teachers or it can be mixed with the other information sources like textbook or classroom. Television can be used in more than one way depending on the deliberate goals, learning needs, learning situations teaching contents, exciting delivery network, and available sources. The planner have to devise proper usage of television at the very start of educational scheme. Following are the main types of approaches to use television. Total TV teaching. In this matter, television is a chief or only the teacher. There is no other sources to supplement or complement the television broadcast. For instance, television can teach literacy and numeracy directly to viewers at homes in study groups in viewing centers. Certain skills have also been demonstrated directly to viewers so that they can practice and apply. Further examples include programs for preschool children such as Sismio, Street, and many television network including PTV2 have assumed the responsibility for total teaching. In this approach, television channels develop and follow their own curriculum. Television as a complementary source. In this approach, television is tightly linked with the curriculum requirements. Television is built into total teaching process and methodology, thus becoming an essential component of teaching and learning. Various programs in sequence are linked with the textbook and teaching explanations if the student miss the programs in the effectiveness of teaching will be reduced. Television in this method is mandatory, not optional. Television as a supplementary enrichment. 
television is often used to reinforce and enrich the subject areas. In this approach, television brings further knowledge. In addition to other basic teaching sources, in viewing is flexible and optional. AIOU Experience Alama Iqbal Open University Experience is a distance learning institution. Students in this system are not supposed to come on campus for class study. However, the open learning system of AIOU is not absolutely parallel to that of independent studies. By the private and external students who are registered with the board and universities appear only for the final examination. They get degrees on successful completion of terms. AIOU learning system is more systematic and disciplined. Hyper games and the progress of the student is regularly monitored and multimedia communication channels are used for teaching and learning purposes. Usually, it is the print medium that assumes the role of providing the basic and the core learning material to the students. Other sources such as face-to-face -face tutorials, sports and radio and television broadcasts have their own utility. Tutorials help the students to get guidance and seek clarity in certain subject areas. The electronic media is used for the variety of the purpose depending on the requirement of the courses and teaching methodologies. Following is the summary of various uses of television. First, the show practical and the show practical application of the principles already written in the textbook. To show laboratory work and demonstrations. To humanize distance education. The media help to fill the gap between the teachers at campus and the student at homes. Thus, it creates a sense of belonging among the distance learning students. To improve language skills by showing language in use and in drills. To improve teaching skills by showing model teaching techniques. To show real life situations. To show macroscopic things on magnified scale animation, dramatic presentation to show human behavior or history, slow motions, case studies. The common motive behind using media channel is to explain and provide evidence to the syllabus content. Specific objective of television education may vary from course to course. The correspondence material AIOU of generally cover the theoretical and analytical aspect of subject while television attempt to show these principles in read working situation through the various representation of written words. AIOU has so far produced more than 400 television programs and many non-broadcast audio video visual cassettes. Slide tapes and flip charts are also used in visual media. Television is used in science technical and vocational subjects. The demonstrations through television help to substitute the laboratory experiments. In social sciences and language television is used to show real life situation. Television also help to understand information which is too complex for the written and spoken explanation. Here is a list for suggested reading. Please subscribe this channel and like the video. Thanks for watching.